I've heard some experts that an economic crisis is coming soon in America that would be worse than 2008. Peter Schiff says so. Any advice for investors that might lose investments? Well, a I mean, of, the question a lot of investing stuff today. Look at that. Yeah. There you go. What were you saying, Drew? I was going to say, I mean, it really just boils down to like, uh, so capital preservation is boils down to like, what's your mix and what are you exposed to? So if you look at like the current things that a lot of people are talking about, a lot of people are worried about like housing problems. So, yeah, well, uh, so uh, there's current talks about legislation that'll get passed that'll deal with the uh, mortgage forbearance issues that uh, everyone's been talking about. Um, so obviously they allowed mortgage forbearance, um, what, uh, April-ish timeframe? It really just boils down to like, what is your, if you're going to be investing, what is what is the mix of assets that you currently have allocated? Uh, and like, we're kind of in a period where focusing on more cash flowing type assets is going to be um, way more beneficial r right now. Uh, whether that will stay that way forever, who, I mean, it never will stay that like that forever. There's always this question of growth versus value. It's funny. I really wanted to be, I thought it was going to be a, a trader. Like stocks were my thing in high school. I was obsessed with it. I entered all the stock competitions. I had my own little portfolio. And now I, I uh, barely care. Um, and maybe that's not a super smart thing. What made you switch? What, what made you, what happened? Um, I, I discovered entrepreneurship. Yeah. So I, I look at what I'm invested in. So what am I invested in? As I said, I've got, I've got my own business. I've got multiple businesses, right? So my, my salsa dancing business is, is, is screwed right now, right? We're moving like shifting to online, four more weeks of lockdown and we can't have classes. You know, that business is in uh, serious issues right now. Um, my Evan Carmichael brand is stronger than ever. I'm not doing speaking, um, but the YouTube channels are blowing up. Uh, everything else that I'm doing is just crazy opportunities coming at me because everybody's going online. Um, so that is awesome. My businesses with, with Bo and Jeremy are epic, right? Jeremy has a half million dollar business. Bo just crossed a hundred thousand dollars in six months, right? So it's like those businesses are blowing up. I don't see, I don't see, um, not that they're recession proof, but I don't see any of those things really causing harm to what I'm doing. Uh, now look at that's, the, that's more active management, right? I'm, I'm actually involved in those things. Um, where am I investing? Okay. Well, I've got the index fund. Will the index fund go down? Yeah. Will the, will the Canadian market go down? Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not the swing trader. I'm not investing in, it's like making a long-term bet on Canada. I'll take that bet. What's going to happen in the next three years? I don't know. I'm not paying attention to it. It's like, that's not why you buy an index fund. The whole idea is that you're not buying it so that you're worrying about what's happening today, tomorrow, next month, next year. That's, that's not the point. Um, the other two companies that I bought are Facebook and Amazon. If you had to pick two companies that would survive and thrive in the, in the downturn, I'm going with Facebook and Amazon, right? Um, so that's how I look at it. It's like, hey, if, okay, if, if, recession comes or, or people also freaking out about inflation. Okay. Inflation comes. What companies are most likely going to get hit really hard and what kind of exposure do you have to those businesses? And if it's a lot, then you can start to adjust. And, and if it's not, then you're good.